Good morning. Uh, uh, thank you all for joining us here once again. I, I came here today to talk to you about a, a, a call that we responded to last night. The call came in as a, uh, as a, a, a person that's, that was threatening to uh, commit suicide. He was threatening to harm himself and, pe and family, people associated with him called at 911. So at, at 10 and 22 p.m., our officers were dispatched to 1006 Ivy Ridge Road, apartment number 26. When the officers arrived, they encountered our uh, suspect in this particular case, who has been identified as Jeffrey J. Kelly. Uh, Kelly was uh, uh, described by his family members as to have been drinking heavily and, and I, over what period of time it wasn't made clear but it was it was uh it was, we were advised that he was intoxicated as he had been drinking heavily when our, our officers arrived to the apartment we we arrived to find that the apartment was secure and and that kelly was indeed inside the apartment the officers knocked on the door in an effort to get uh, Kelly to uh, exit the apartment, but he refused. The officers went around the apartment and they were able to look through a window and, and through this window they were able to see that um, Kelly was armed with at least a ni one knife. Uh, they at that point uh, engaged, um, directed Kelly to drop the knife and to exit the apartment. He refused. Mr. Kelly, as I said earlier, made numerous threats to harm the officers on the outside. And before the officers can engage the uh, emergency services that I just mentioned to you, Mr. Kelly uh, charged from the apartment uh, toward the officers in a threatening manner. Two of the officers engaged uh, Mr. Kelly with the weapons that with the weapons that they had. One officer was in possession of what we refer to as a less lethal weapon. The other officer was in possession of his duty weapon. Both officers discharged each of these weapons uh, in fear of, this, of their safety, of, of, this, of their own personal safety and the safety of their, the, the uh, officers next to them and the officers surrounding the area. Both officers fired the weapons that they possessed in an effort to stop uh, Mr. Kelly's advance, threatening advancements toward them, and in doing so, Mr. Kelly was struck once in the, in the thigh area with the less lethal weapon. He was struck once in the hand uh, by the uh, projectile that was fired from the, the uh, officer's duty weapon. At that point, the officers were able to take him into custody, and, and, and he continued to fight the officers uh, despite uh, being struck by um, a, a round from a, uh, a duty weapon and a round from a less lethal weapon. He continued to fight and struggle. The officers were able to take him to, into custody. Mr. Kelly was then transported to uh, universe, Upstate University Medical Hospital where he was treated and released uh, for a laceration to his hand which he sustained from being struck by the projectile from the, uh, the duty weapon and a laceration to his thigh which he sustained from being struck with the uh, less lethal weapon. Mr. Kelly is, uh, was lodged at the Justice Center where he's, at this point, he's been charged with uh, criminal possession of a weapon in the third degree. And please understand that this investigation is still open, active, and ongoing, and there may be some additional charges, but at this point, the only thing that Mr. Uh, Kelly has been charged with is the weapon.